Welcome back. We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by Dr. Ayadil Hamza, our tourism expert. Dr. Ayadil, good afternoon to you, sir. Uh, good afternoon. <clears throat> Thank you very much for your time, doctor. Now, of course, there's lots of tourists uh, constantly come and visit Egypt and all the preparations being done by the state and the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities to cater for these visitors, including uh, the recent uh, bringing, uh, increasing of e-ticketing equipped sites and museums across the country to 100 sites. A very good development and, of course, every day new archaeological discoveries are done uh, uh, in Egypt and recently an archaeological mission just unveiled the first and biggest astronomical observatory from the 6th century BC in uh, Kafra Sheikh Governorate. Could you tell us a bit about this uh, recent uh, discovery, Doctor? Yes, actually this is a very good, uh, very important and very good discovery. Mm -hmm. Very important because it's assuring uh, a fact that how was the ancient Egypt, Egyptians skilled and progressive in uh, astronomy. No, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the Egyptians, uh, there are a lot of observatories were uh, discovered before this back to the 23rd century BC and another eras. But the discovery was in another area in Egypt, in Kafr Sheikh, which means that the Egyptians they were actually having a lot of observatories scattered all over the country. Mm -hmm. To find uh, an observatory like this in Botu Temple, which is in Tal al-Farain in uh, Kofri Sheikh, means that also the Egyptian and uh, local governments in ancient Egypt, they were having their own local observatories to serve the area of the people of this area. Mm -hmm. uh, very important because it's assuring and displaying how was the Egyptians all over the country were skilled and very advanced in astronomy. And using this uh, scientific uh, approaches in their agriculture, uh, how to uh, you know to uh, to determine the solar calendar, uh, to use it in agriculture and another uh, another another uh, verbs. Indeed, Dr. Aiza, and this is very important because, as I said, every day uh, new discoveries are being done to further allow people to understand and have a further in-depth understanding of, uh, you know, ancient Egyptians and the kind of technological advancements that they had even uh, in ancient times. Of course, exactly. now with the summer season wrapping up and uh, the winter season just around the corner, just, before the full, uh, just after the fall season. Uh, what are your expectations for the upcoming tourism season here in Egypt, Doctor? Uh, actually, my expectations for the next uh, season will be very, very, very great. Mm -hmm. And actually, the number of uh, tourism, tourists in Egypt are increasing so much in the last, uh, you know, in the last decades. You can see in the last decade that the numbers of tourists were increasing very much. And by actually uh, adding these discoveries, which is uh, we are talking about today, this is adding another thing to the Egyptian tourism. It's adding something we can call it the scientific tourism. You know, people who are interested of different kind of uh, sciences are interested also to come to see how was the Egyptians, how were they, how were they building their observatories, how were they are progressive in such sciences, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually very, very, very good. And I'm, I'm very optimistic, actually, that the next season will be very great, especially mm -hmm. uh, with all the situations around Egypt yes. that no, no countries actually are encouraging to go Mm -hmm. except Egypt in the Middle East. So I think most of the foreigners from Europe and the States will have their target, Egypt. Indeed, we hope so. D uh, on that very positive note, I'd like to thank you very much, Dr. Ayad al our tourism expert. Thank you very much, sir, for your time uh, and your insight. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of today's edition of Cairo Local Time. We do hope you have enjoyed it. You're in the company of myself, Angie Meher. Thank you for watching.